Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com. Today talking with you about a conversation with future me. And the whole thing started in my awareness last week when I got an email from myself a year earlier. And it was not an email that I was expecting to get. I'd done a really good job forgetting that I'd even sent it. And it um, struck a real deep chord in me. What it said was, Dear Future Me, I've been sheltering in place for more than five months and all travel plans have canceled. It's hard for me to imagine what you're going through now, but whatever it is, please trust that all is well and you have a great deal of love and support. And always remember to let God do the heavy lifting. It's enough each day just to show up and do what you're able to do and care for who and what you are able to care for. Now this is especially meaningful because at the time I, I sent this message, that was end of August 2020, and I was just starting to really notice that I had dozens of symptoms that were pretty inexplicable and unlike anything I'd ever been through before. It basically felt like I'd aged about three decades. And you can actually hear this if you go to listen to videos. The part you can hear is my shortness of breath. You might not notice that I feel like I've aged 30 years. <laughs> that was probably something I would notice on the inside. And I wasn't afraid to face whatever came next, but I was concerned about the people I loved and I felt like we were going through a really hard time together. So by sending this message to myself that I received and receiving it was intense because I felt this love from myself in the past coming from such a difficult time. And now at the end of August, 2021, I've actually come out the other side of most of those symptoms, finally, after about 18 months. So I'm feeling terrific and in the process found lots of natural ways to treat underlying conditions that I didn't even know I had. So I feel like I'm coming through this stronger than before, still healing lots of body organs and so forth, but really much better off. So it's a phenomenal experience and I can't help but think that there was a connection between the end of August 2020 and the end of August 2021 and some kind of an exchange that happened with different versions of me, one who probably knew like you're going to be okay, you can get through this, but it's so interesting that by sending that love and that hopefulness, that 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 feeling of reverence and gratitude and remember just everything's fine the way it is. Basically, don't try to do too much. That was beautiful. Turned out to be quite prophetic for the best way to get through what's very similar to a chronic fatigue kind of syndrome. And it works. So rest, sleep, pacing, and then amazing natural food-based supplements, basically, that are perhaps longevity-based and antioxidant oxidant, um, ingredients, that kind of thing. But, um, but this is extraordinary because I think it's something all of us can practice on a regular basis if you want to. Just send some love to the future, even when you're in a difficult time. It's very much like asking how good can it get, but really just sending blessings to yourself in the future. Especially when you're going through a time that feels like, wow, this is crazy. I don't know how or if I'll make it through intact. You know, it's that kind of a thing. It can feel quite scary. And I think we're definitely living in an age of uncertainty right now. I loved that character, Mr. Magoo, the cartoon figure when I was growing up. I think I knew deep down in my heart that none of us really know what we're doing. We can try. Mr. Magoo, if you look up to see his videos, he's a goofy character, he's silly, and he often gets himself into situations that he doesn't know he's in due to perhaps bad vision. When you do see him wearing glasses, they're so thick he still can't see through them. And his eyes are squinted shut mostly, like he's not even looking. I think that's very synonymous, very analogous to the human condition and the way that when we even use all of our senses, all of our brain power, all of our planning abilities, things still don't go the way we thought they would. And it can be kind of um, startling, uh, a little bit disorienting, sometimes downright scary. But just like Mr. Magoo, if you trust that nature has you, the cosmos has you, God's got this, whatever you want to say, you'll be okay. And that's my takeaway from all this. So I hope you can keep asking my favorite question, how good can it get? And until next time, this is Cynthia Sue Larson reminding you to keep asking 
that same question, how good can it get? And I'm at realityshifters.com. You can, of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel and like the video. That would be helpful. And then I've got a newsletter at realityshifters.com, published every month for more than 20 years, sharing experiences, firsthand experiences, with people's reality shifts and amazing experiences in daily life. Take care.